I've just arrived into Heathrow Terminal 2 on the Tube, and today I'm taking an exciting flight with Swiss on LX357 to Geneva in one of their Airbus A220s in economy. Enjoy the video. Terminal 2 opened in 2014 and is named the Queen's Terminal. I love the look of this modern building. Have you ever flown through here before? Once through security, you enter the spacious departure lounge area. There are a variety of shops and huge glass windows, so I pass the time watching the planes. Have you seen my plane spotting video from Terminal 2? Click the link above to watch the full version. Many airlines operate from Heathrow's Terminal 2, including Singapore Airlines, Lufthansa, United Airlines, Etihad Airways, and many more. Despite the wide range of airlines that serve Terminal 2 alone, it is the smallest terminal covering only 40,000 square meters. My aircraft is on final approach to runway 27 left, so time to go to gate A16. And here it is, an Airbus A220, formerly known as the CS300, registered HBJCJ. At the time of this flight, the aircraft was only three months old. Now it's time for boarding. Did you know you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter to see photos of my flights and sneak peeks of upcoming trips? So if you're into aviation, check it out. One thing I noticed straight away is the aircraft is so light and modern. The aircraft is configured in a 2-3 layout with business class and economy. Today I'm seated in 18A next to the window. The airline also has some upbeat boarding music, which is surprisingly refreshing. The windows on this plane are huge. Great first impression so far. Boarding was very quick and despite the aircraft arriving late, the turnaround was very efficient and we pushed back early. So off we go, taxiing to runway 27 right for a silly departure.
So as we climb out of Heathrow, we have great views of the airport for several miles. Our flight today will take us up to 39,000 feet with a top speed of over 500 miles per hour. Our route today is longer than expected as we'll be flying down south to Lyon and to avoid the storms around Geneva. So stick around for the approach as we fly into the storm. So goodbye England and hello France. In fact, there's the Arc de Triomphe located in Paris. One thing I have noticed about this aircraft was the quietness of the engines. This really does make a difference to the passenger experience. However, if you are sitting behind the wing, you can sometimes feel a vibration from the engines, which may be bothersome, but for me this was not a big issue. On most Swiss flights you get a free small chocolate, which is a nice addition to the flight. As we approach Geneva you can see the storms building. In fact, we were the last flight to land that night due to the severity of the storms. All other flights were diverted to either Lyon or Zurich. So what are the seats and the cabin like overall? Well, I am super impressed with the seat. It is comfortable and of a good size. The cabin is light and modern, and the crew were very helpful and friendly. The tray table was clean and sturdy, unlike some other airlines that I've flown with before. The seat does have two seat back pockets, but they are quite small and I couldn't fit all of my belongings in them. I have to say that the sunset views from up here were incredible, and some of the best I've seen in a while. Watch how quickly here it gets dark as we enter the storm. It starts to get very turbulent and bumpy, but I love that. Do you like the turbulence? Watch out for that lightning strike just before we land.
So how was Swiss overall on this short flight? Well, it was probably one of my favourite flights I've been on in a long time. This is an awesome plane and it's quiet and modern. The crews were very nice and the seat had no significant aspects that I had a problem with. This seat was also very reasonably priced, at about £70 one way. But for the passenger experience I received, it was truly worth it. And there we go, we have arrived into Geneva in a big storm. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to subscribe for weekly videos. Until next time, this has been Cytaviation Plane Spotting, goodbye.